hey, Adam mentioned the Patriots' need at wide receiver. They became the first team since the 2009 Rams to go an entire season without a player having a 100 receiving yards in a game. At New England, certainly familiar with Devontae Parker's work also in the division. Three of Parker's 11 career 100-yard receiving games have come against the Patriots. So, like, man, that guy's good. Let's get him on our team. All right, Dan, how do you like this trade for the Patriots? I think it's a really good trade for the Patriots because it gives them something that they didn't have, and that's size and speed at the yeah. wide receiver position. As good as we thought that offense played last year, certainly Mac Jones played, they weren't really in the pass game able to use all of the field, certainly horizontally because they didn't have somebody outside the numbers that could work. So you shrink the field down sideline to sideline where you don't have that guy. And then downfield, they didn't really have a guy that we felt could run by a defense or at least put the fear of running by a defense into those guys and certainly having the size where I could say, hey, it's one-on-one, -on -one, my guy better than your guy. I could just go give you an opportunity ball instead of having to place it in the perfect location. So I like the fact that they brought that in because now they can use Hunter Henry a little bit more mm. space in the field, John Smith a little bit more space in the field, Nat Nelson Aguilar a little bit more with those underneath slot-defined routes because they have a guy that can go work on the outside, including Kendrick, Kendrick Bourne working between the hashes. Listen, Devontae Parker's a guy that averages 14 yards per catch in his NFL yep. career. In 2000, last year he had 500 yards in eight games, okay? So not a great year, but 500, 500 yards in eight games. 2020 had 800 in 11 games. 2019, Teddy, when he played a chunk of the season, 1,200 yards and nine, catch, or nine touchdowns. So, so, so good can, player. Can, can they get it out of him? Yeah. Can they get that type of production out of him? I mean, uh, contested catches, like Adam's talking about, like Dan's talking about, okay, here's a guy that's going to help Mac Jones. He's a big, tall guy. Throw it up to him. He can get it. But, I mean, it's – He's hurt a lot, yeah. and then you're hoping. I mean, he played well against the Patriots. So Bill, right. Bill, <laughs> right. it's like, oh, this guy, thing. this guy was like good against us. So yeah, I'm gonna get it out of him by That's bringing funny. him here. And then uh, when a when a court, see when you bring a receiver that you need to get the most out of, yeah. you put him in the offense, and who plays a big part in that? The quarterback. No the doubt. quarterback in terms of getting on a relationship with this guy at times where you may have a little tweak, man. It's only like a game, right? You're going right. to be back in a couple minutes, a couple yeah. games, right? Yeah. Something like that. It, Mac has to become that quarterback now. You're no longer a those rookie. Those conversations. Yeah, those yeah. conversations, the serious ones to where receiver to quarterback, man, I need you out yeah. there and be out there hmm. for me. So let's so, see if Deva Devontae sure. can do that for this offense. Yeah. Yeah, Teddy, I hear you on the injury risk, but I think despite that, this is a pretty shrewd move on the part of New England, um, in part because of the contract. I and mean, we're at a moment now where the top wide receivers are getting quarterback money, and Devontae Parker is only making single-digit millions over the next couple of years, which I think limits the risk to some degree. Uh, as Dan said, and you as well, um, he gives them a downfield threat that's been missing from their offense, I believe, since Brandon Cooks. In 2017, obviously a very different kind of player, but can still threaten deep and separate. And then finally, what I love about this is it gives New England flexibility going into the draft. I still think they should take a wide receiver, but they no longer yes. have to reach for a certain kind of player in the first round because quarterback is still a glaring need on this roster. So now with the wide receiver in hand, an X receiver, they can look at all of their options in the first round and say, let's take the best player for us. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.